our other couple that is being honored this evening. Is Uri and Sandra Weinstein. From the very moment that Uri and Sandra moved into the neighborhood, they, it was apparent that they were a very energetic couple. I don't know if Sandra remembers, but the very first time that I met her was on a house call about mezuzah. You do remember. I remember. And what was very remarkable at the time was we were discussing the finer points of a mashkov and a mezuzah in order to ascertain if a particular doorway was Chayev and Mezuzah. And it was apparent at that time that she was not only bright, but she was also a Mulmed, that she was somebody who was very well versed in the Halachas, which was something that I, I found very, very enlightening. Uri and Sandra, as a couple, galvanized people together. They have that amazing ability. And when they came into the community, even though they came from other communities, communities that were perhaps larger, communities that had longer standing in the Jewish community, they made our community into their community immediately. There was no waiting period as many other people have. And they adopted this community as their community. And their incredible power to bring people together with creativity, with their great ideas. Uri with his chomp throwdown, which is now, after his third year, one of the most popular <laughs> popular events, gets people out on a Friday night, and people enjoy it so much. And he was, of course, I should mention, he was the winner of the, the first year's <laughs> show to throw down. <laughs> and Sandra, whose creative ideas, such as movie night and casino night, are things that they bring to the community, which are fun. We need fun people. And Ruby and Sandra are people who know how to bring fun to things. But they're also very serious. Uri is a member of the Chavra Kadisha. And Sandra, in her activities in the Women's League, among those activities, she is the chair of the New Mothers Community, as you heard before. And she has chaired boutiques and many other things. They, Uri and Sandra, represent to us the continuity of our community and of our shul because they bring great spirit and great dedication. They are people who lead with their deeds and in a beautiful manner. And I think that we are very fortunate to have Uri and Sandra as members of our, of our community. A special mazel tov to the grandparents, to the Schombach and Usher families, who are very well known for their community participation. And I know that the Schombachs in Riverdale are among the community leaders. And to Uri's parents, who represent the Weinstein and the Schachter families, who are very, very dedicated to the Borough Park and to the Lawrence communities, Mazel tov to you and to the entire family and all of the family and friends who have come to celebrate together with Sandra and with Uri. Presented to Sandra and Uri Weinstein on the occasion of the 45th annual dinner, Young Israel of Michelle, March 25, 2012, to Nissan 5772. Comfortable. This is going to take a long time. <laughs> On behalf of Sandra and myself, we would like to thank Rabbi Fink for his kind words. We are so lucky to be members of your great Kehila. In addition to possessing great erudition of Torah and other subjects and your incredible mastery of the pulpit, you are also the most dashing of any rabbi we know. Thank you to our, to our dedicated school board members and the executive committee for bestowing this honor on our family. And to our esteemed public officials in the Israel government and the United States Congress for their service to our community day in and day out. Life would not function as we know it without the individual contributions. We'd also like to thank the many people who have given up an incredible amount of their personal and family time to make this dinner successful. Mazel tov to Judy and Bob Friedman are receiving a well-deserved honor and thank you for your contribution to the dinner. I'm really at a loss what to say on such an occasion. 
as this came as a complete shock to Sandra and me. Initially, Sandra received an email from the shul asking the two of us to come in and meet Rabbi Fink. Since it was during a week that I was heading out of town on business, Sandra asked about the subject matter and if it could wait until the following week. When Sandra called me at the office later in the day with a low and solemn voice, I was concerned that we might have offended someone awfully, or that I was talking too much in shul. <laughs> when she said that the shul would like to us to accept the Young Leadership Award, I was totally dumbfounded and speechless. I mean, my child is pretty good, but not that good. <laughs> well, after such soul, uh, so much soul-searching and deliberation and consultation with our families, the unanim unanimous consensus was that we had better accept, as this may be the only chance we'll get. <laughs> Clearly there was some mistake. So for the sake of our children and to give nachas to our parents, we agreed after all. During my gap year in Israel, even Rabbi Bina had publicly asserted, I love the parents and the brother and sister of Undebul, as you must be an adopted. <laughs> of, of course, Sandra is totally deserving of this. Whenever there is a Women's League event, she is always volunteering to lend a hand or to lead. Sandra is the consummate doer, and on top of her full-time work schedule, plus managing the kids' busy lives, always makes time to be involved in the communal affairs. This was evident as well when she participated in the first Skippy's triathlon team, training every morning before work. I was truly inspired. I was very appreciative of Sandra in more ways than can be expressed in tonight's venue. But suffice it to say that since we met in high school, I have become increasingly dependent on our excellent judgment. We are two peas in the pod and complement each other perfectly. Thank you for being my partner in life. Our parents have always been great examples to us, and we thank them for their fine upbringing we've had. In terms of Chesed, my parents have been at the forefront of supporting Kolel Chabad, an organization that feeds and provides medical care and other services to underprivileged Jews in Israel and around the world. Sandra's parents were founders and operators of Atala in, in Riverdale, directly responsible for saving countless lives. Additionally, both have been instrumental in their local synagogues and day schools, HALP and SAR, and have taught us in their individual ways the importance of Ahav Yisrael. I would like to thank my mother specifically, who inspired me to cook chulad, as hers was always surrounded by neighbors on their way home from shul, full of good cheer. So let me tell you briefly about the chulad inspired by my mom. Since we accepted the honor, a few people have either reiterated, what a great event, or on the other hand, downplayed the role of chulad. Let me tell you now, paired shalom with fine spirits and good people, and you have the recipe of an easy home run shul event. I think it was Jack Bodner who told me tonight that food is love. Where are you? <laughs> First of all, shalom is the quintessential Jewish food. What is it exactly? Tradition teaches us that it is merely a slow-cooked food that is set up Arab Shabbos and ready to be eaten hot the next day. Simple, but it is so much more. The very essence of this week's and last week's Torah portion discuss it. In fact, cholent is a compilation of the sacrifices. You take the shemen, call it cholent fat. Take the kema, call it cholent beans or kishka. And take the flesh of the behema and call it flanken. Take the innards. Well, those are just innards. But you get my point. And we pay the sacrifice all afternoon if we eat too much of it. <laughs> Besides the guts of the dish, Cholent brings people together. What was originally just a fun, silly competition unexpectedly enabled the participants and guests to find commonalities, to break the ice, so to speak, with members of the shul and circles or generations they might not otherwise cross. This was the key success of the event. This event involved so many people. Firstly, the grand visionary, Ezra Tuckman. The whole thing started when Ezra and I were schmoozing about the Food Network show Throwdown and said how fun it would be to have a chill and throw down. Ezra and Helena Greenberg also bounced the idea around. Then Ezra challenged me to run it, and I did so. And thanks for pushing me to do it. Thanks to Mark Seymour for running it this year, and for the several people that help run it and participate in the event every year. Another shul social group that takes place outside of shul has nothing to do with shul exactly, but ice hockey. So I would like to mention it to thank my 10 or so teammates over the last four years for watching each other's back and proudly wearing a Yinner logo on the front of our hockey jersey. Why did we get involved in all this stuff? Mainly, it was to contribute our time to the shul, to help wherever possible, and to spend time making closer connections with our new friends. Sandra and I moved to New Rochelle just over six years ago, at the end of 2005 from Riverdale, where we have lived for, mainly, uh, lived for nearly 10 years, as many of you have. 
In deciding where to live, geography played an important role. Sandra practices in White Plains, and my office is in New Jersey. With the kids attending SAR and the fact that we knew so many ex Riverdaleans living here, we felt it would be an easy tradition. But the ease of the transition and our general sentiment of the neighborhood highly exceeded any of our expectations. What was, and still is, at the forefront was the warmth of the congregation and the outstretched arms emanating from all of you. Nary had a Shabbos gone by in the first year or two that we had a lunch alone. How remarkable. We are grateful for the deep friendships we've started in New Rochelle and for those pre-existing friendships that have blossomed. I'd like to offer one suggestion for this intangible at work that makes this place so special. For a long time, Yinner has a sm has, was a smaller New York Metro shul and a smaller group. As smaller groups go, they are a lot closer knit. That is very important if you want to have an effective and successful community life. When people pray together and their children play, and learn together, and we share in each other's smachot and sorrowful moments, you end up with bonds forged in steel. What we have found exhilarating is Yinner's ability to grow while maintaining the warmth of a small community fellowship. This is a testament to the rabbi and the founding members of Yinner that established this Jena Zekwa and continue to lead by example. Our hope and prayer is that in another 20 or so years, when our children, please God, are looking for a place to raise their families, that young Israel of New Rochelle still embodies that amazing character that it has today. Thank you all for being such great friends, for coming here tonight in honor of our family and the Freedmen's, and for your great support of this wonderful school. This is not another speech, this is merely a thank you. Good evening, Rabbi Fink, Abby, Congressman Lowy, Congressman Engel, family and friends. Firstly, I want to thank Judy and Bob for all they've done for our community, and it's been an honor to share this evening with you. I don't want to bore you all with another speech, but I do want to relate to each and every one of you how grateful we are to live in such a warm and inviting community. We are truly humbled by the community by being asked to accept the Young Leadership Award. At first, we were taken aback and figured that there are other more deserving people to accept this award. But after much thought, we decided that it would be a great opportunity to tell our friends and family just how much they mean to us. Uri and I are both very lucky to come from very charitable, friendly, and involved parents. Uri's family has been very dedicated to Chabad and Amit and make it a priority to help those less fortunate than them. My parents also have been very dedicated to the community and to Amit and initiated at Cellar of Riverdale 22 and a half years ago after a friend of theirs died in Shul. Our parents have set a great example to us of how actions speak louder than words, and they have been great role models. We would not be standing here tonight without their guidance and love. Mom and Dad, plural. Thank you for always looking out for our best interests and for teaching us right from wrong. Often friends from outside New Rochelle ask me how I like New Rochelle, and what is it about New Rochelle that makes it so wonderful? I always respond with the same answer, which is that New Rochelle is a community that is down to earth and has its priorities right. Uri and I appreciate the atmosphere here that one's children are the top priority and the focus is on family. I credit Rabbi Fink for accepting people for who they really are. You have your finger on the pulse here and you are in touch with all of your congregants and their individual needs. Abby, with her warm smile, always knows the right things to say and manages to befriend everyone in our community. Sylvia, Olivia, and Jordana, you often ask us why we have to leave at night to go to meetings and why we can't be home every night. If you look around the room tonight, you will see what makes the community such a success. It is the involvement of each and every one here. It is by, it is by great leadership and initiative that you can move buildings and make a difference. Sometimes that means leaving the ones you love and giving up your free time. Girlies, thank you for being so understanding, and we hope that you too will be involved and be role models for future generations. Uri, I feel truly blessed to have met you over 20 years ago. You and I are partners in everything we do, and we have similar priorities, and we allow each other time to be who and what we want to be. I feel very lucky to be married to a man who is committed to his community, who is a doer, and it was just a great guy. We love living here, and we love doing all that we can to pitch in to enhance our community. I want to thank everyone for coming tonight, and a very special thank you to all those who worked on the various dinner committees, who worked into the wee hours of the night in order to make tonight a success. 
I am blessed by the fact that on the dinner committee are my nearest of friends, some of whom I have known since I was three years old, Joanne, <laughs> friends from sleepaway camp, Ayala, elementary school, high school, and college, as well as friends who I've met just six and a half years ago who have become my closest confidants. I know that some people on the committee don't usually do this kind of thing and did it out of friendship, and I want you to know that we truly appreciate your time and effort. We are humbled by the outpouring of support and love, and we are looking forward to a lifetime of special memories shared with all of you.